Hi Pisces and welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Pisces. And so we can take a look at the cards. We can get a sense of the energies for the month to help guide you. And hopefully some of this will resonate. Again, it's a general reading. So take what does, leave the rest as many say. And uh, let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. Mm. So, three majors again. Let's take a look here what we have. We have the Emperor, Major Arcana. We have the Fool. And then we have the Hermit. So the Emperor brings forth this energy of structure of having things in order and doing things perhaps uh, in a structured or orderly way whether that's approaching your your to-do list or your obligations or uh, you know taking care of your employees at your at your business there's a sense here of rules of being very rule aware, maybe doing things by the book and having this uh, very strong sense of procedure and of structure. Some may say that when we go too far with the emperor that we bring um, uh, inf inflexibility or lack of flexibility, a rigidness to our the way that we interact but the Emperor also has a lot of nice qualities which is uh, skill and mastery and experience and the wisdom of handling situations he sits confidently on the throne he rules fairly for the most part and so um, he's earned his place on this throne and he's doing the things that are necessary for the good of his group, perhaps. This can represent uh, someone in your circle who is wise and has experience and for the most part is pretty fair. They may have their own way of thinking because maybe that's what they've been doing for so long and they're kind of that that's the way that they want to do it. So with the emperor, there's a sense here of, of structure, of pulling things together in an organized fashion. So if you have had a little disorganization or a little chaos lately, then he comes in here to, to make everything a little more uh, flowing in order, perhaps. So interesting with, with the emperor next to the fool, because here's the fool, the start of our journey. And this tells me that we're thinking about what our next path is, what our next journey is, our next project. Maybe we want to build something, create something, travel. At a literal level, travel. And the fool has just what they need in their knapsack. And the dog is, is excitedly, excitedly jumping up and down, either warning them to say, hey, look down before you fall off the cliff, or yippee, let's go. I'm up for it. Let's go for it. So the Fool is a magnificent card because it really taps into our desire to have wonder in our life and to find joy and excitement through the things that we do and the things that we choose to do. The fool brings a sense of wonder and playfulness back and back to center with us. And so this fool is looking right here at the emperor. And the emperor may have been a lot of hard work. You're doing everything you need to do. You're following the rules. And maybe you're just not having enough fun and you need to, you need to have some uh, lightness. You have, need to have some creativity. 
And so here's the fool that, that shows up. Having some time to fo- having time to follow what you truly love or what you're hoping to move toward. It's really about taking a leap of faith. And taking a leap of faith is quite uh, can be quite a different story than what the emperor may tell you to do. The emperor may give you solid advice to, to do this and then do that and then you'll get to this place and the fool's like, you know what, I'm just going to throw my papers in the air. I'm going to put a smile on my face, pack a little bag, pack a treat, grab the dog and we're going. And so maybe that's the attitude for Friday, which is to bring this lightness and the fun and the carefreeness back. And maybe with this, I mean, here we have the hermit. The hermit's such a uh, such an important card because it's about seeking your own truth, your own uh, enlightenment, digging deep within to figure out what's going on, taking time out to be still, to give yourself time to meditate, to reflect, to contemplate, maybe walk in nature. But this is time for you to carve out and maybe you have a busy life and it seems like you can't do that. You've got to find five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it may be can help you. And so the hermit gives you self-knowledge. The hermit could also represent someone who is wise again we have some wise people bookending who may be giving you advice as well maybe it's not the advice you want to hear that you're carefree and having fun but start with self-knowledge start with uh, tapping into what you feel right now you know what's been going on lately what you're hoping maybe to accomplish or to achieve what is your tolerance level for taking a leap of faith? You know, what, where's the line for you that you have, uh, that you, that you know that this is what you want to do. It's to bring some fun back into your daily life. You know, life is short and if we are living by the rules all the time and if we're stuck and we're grinding it out, and we lose that carefree feeling, then it's to shame. That's what it is. So find something that makes you feel joyful and makes you feel like it's new, the new cycle. And, you know, this new cycle is also going to give you more information and more self-awareness and, and illumination of you. So let's take a look at the numerology. We have four and we have nine and that's 13. And so that reduces to four. Four is about stability, your family, uh, building a firm foundation. Think of the four legs on a table, supporting that the tabletop. And finally, to close the reading, I'm going to choose another oracle card. We'll get a little more information. Heart Chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being, attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. So I feel like the emperor and the hermit, uh, they have their attributes, but they also have a sense, I think, of, of wanting good and, and capable of good advice too. So the fool is listen to your heart as you make these decisions as you take a leap of faith, as you do something in, to bring enjoyment and fun and happiness within to your, uh, into your life. I hope you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, and if you haven't already, 
please subscribe, like, share, leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing and come back tomorrow for another reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.